What's up? Welcome back to the channel. Before we get into this video, I wanted to let you guys know about this amazing sponsor that we have for today's video called Geology. Geology is an award-winning men's skincare routine providing you with a simple, personalized, and results-proven day and night skincare routine. One important thing I want to say as a man is that most of us don't really take care of our skin. What's the point of a nice crispy haircut without that nice skin glow to go with it? With that being said, I've definitely tapped in to make sure my skin is looking good and I think you should too. So right here I have the everyday face wash, a cleanser, and the morning face cream to help improve the skin tone and skin texture. This is the morning routine. For the night routine, you also would just use the everyday face wash and then pair it with an acne and wrinkle fighting night cream with the eye cream for baggy eyes. And yes, like I said, you can personalize it by going on their website and taking their quick 30 second regimen quiz. Let me show you how it's done. So basically all you would do is go to their website, geology.com, link is in the description, and you would just start by filling out this questionnaire that they have for you. And they're gonna basically see what skin regimen works best for you based on your skin type, the goals for your skin, and how sensitive it is, so they can prepare it just for you and make it personalized so you don't have any problems. You guys, I've been using this product and so far it's been great. It feels good to have such a simple skincare routine in my life. I would say they definitely picked the right regimen for me. So that's all you have to do. And what I like about this product the most is that it's so easy to incorporate into your everyday lifestyle. And most importantly, knowing that you're working towards a more healthier and clearer looking skin every day and night. Make sure you guys check out the link in my description for an exclusive discount. Now let's get right into this video. What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Josh, back with another video. And today we got my guy with that salt and pepper blend. Y'all know what time it is. We about to get them right. Let's get it. So first things first, before we cut anything, we wanna go in and comb out the hair and get all the hair to lay down in this natural growth pattern. So when we cut the hair down, we cut everything in its right direction and we don't give them any patches. So right here we started knocking down some bulk off the top. Right here I had the one and a half guard on with the lever all the way closed, going with the grain. But I eventually switched to my number one guard on with the lever all the way open. Because it cut it just a little bit shorter, he told me he didn't want it too high. And sometimes when I cut people down to a one and a half, usually I end up going to the one guard open because the one and a half leaves like just a little bit too much to the point where it stands up and that one guard with the lever all the way open with the grain just lays it down perfectly without cutting too much and if you guys notice when i'm getting real detailed when i'm knocking down bulk i make sure i follow the hair pattern so when you see me cut in different areas of the head i'm turning the clipper because that's the way that the hair is turning and that's the way that the hair is growing i'm making sure that i follow the growth pattern Jumping right into the fade, we're starting with our ball line using my cordless detailers, setting in my ball line, not setting it too high. We're gonna be giving him like a mid high fade, so we're gonna keep it kinda low, not too high. And right after I'm done setting in my ball line, I always go back and take out all the hair that's under the guideline so I can keep my fade nice and neat. So before moving on in the fade, as you guys know from previous videos, I always come back and hit the bottom of my guideline to soften it up just in case we put it in too hard in some areas because we don't want any problems when trying to take out any guidelines. Coming in with my cordless magic clips, we're going to go up about a half an inch with no guard on with the lever all the way open setting in our next guideline for this fade making sure that we keep the width of the guideline the same all the way around the head so we can ensure a balanced fade so it can come out as best as possible So 
So right after setting in that guideline, to take out the guideline, we're going to use the same clipper, no guard on, and just close the lever halfway and start up under the line and flick up to the line. Whenever I'm doing this process, sometimes I have to do a lot of detail work and closing your lever halfway doesn't all the way get it out. So sometimes you have to open it a little more or close it a little more. Depending on the hair density and the texture, it, that's all it depends on. Starting our next guideline, which is with my number one guard on with the lever all the way closed. We're going up about another half an inch, making sure that we keep the width the same all the way around the head and just staying consistent. To take out that guideline, we're gonna come back with my half guard. And usually after I come in with my half guard after using the number one guard, sometimes I start with the lever halfway closed and then I close it gradually. But in this case, I just closed it all the way right off the rip because his hair texture, I already knew that I could pull it off. So we're going to be fading down for the rest of this haircut. And to start off my fading down process, I started with the number two guard. And we started with the lever all the way open and I want to make sure when I'm flicking up with this number two guard I want to flick all the way to the top of the provider ridge because we want this fade to blend from the top all the way to the bottom. So after going around the head a couple times with the number two guard open I close it all the way. And one important thing to know when you're doing a fading down process is when you go down in size as far as like closing the lever or picking up a new guard, a smaller guard, you want to make sure you don't go up as high on the parietal ridge as you did with the previous guard because we're creating a transition and we want this weight line all the way around the head to end up being a smooth blend. And right here, you guys see me with the one and a half guard on. I started with the one and a half guard all the way open. And whenever I pick up a smaller guard that's right behind the previous guard, I make sure that I hit closely to where the previous guard was but don't go up as high that's creating a transition so we did the number two guard and we did the one and a half guard now we're right back where we ended at before we did the fading down process with our number one guard again but this time with the lever all the way open and i'm connecting that one guard closed blending it right into that one and a half area that we just got done doing and that's your whole fading process it's basically the same thing split up into two different you know what I'm saying scenarios of its own I fade up halfway and then I fade down and that helps me keep my fade more balanced I have more control so a lot of times I want to make sure that my fade is fluent from the bottom to the top right here I'm just going with the grain one more time and then I'm going to come back against the grain and just go through every process that we just did I'm gonna do it fast but basically that's like my detail work to make sure that I just you know retrace my steps and make sure everything is faded how I want it to be faded So now we got the hair on top looking right and faded and all situated. We still got to put the line on it, but right here we're just going to pick his beard out and get ready to do the beard fade. So when I do my beard fade, it's basically my fading down process, but going upwards, if you guys see what I'm saying. I start with, with the biggest guard that I can start with on the beard, you know, that doesn't leave a patch. And then I just fade up all the way to the top from there. So we've got to one of the best parts right here we're applying some holding spray and blow drying it to lock down the hairline to get ready to put this fire hairline on my guy so like i said we've gotten to one of the best parts of the video which is the hairline and on the hairline i'm going to be using my gold babbless trimmers i'm going to sit back and let you guys see this hairline take this haircut to a whole nother level and just bring everything together with the fade all the way to the beard And y'all, it's about to be blurry on the other side for a couple seconds, my bad.
And hey, y'all can't lie, man. This thing looking crispy. Look how that hairline just bounces off that beard line I'm putting on with the fade. You know what I'm saying? Y'all can just see the ending already in the haircut. Y'all know it's about to go crazy when I hit the top of the beard. Yes, sir. Y'all see it, man. We got my boy right. We almost done. Watch out, put that razor on. We getting them crispy, man. Y'all already know. Y'all seeing them lines. But right here, I'm about to use my razor and just go in and add some more detail to make sure we get this line super sharp as much as we can so it can last. Quick tip if you're going to be using a razor, man. Always keep your thumb behind the razor pulling the skin like y'all see in the video. You know, it helps give it that ash line too. You know, when you stretch the skin, it just makes it way easier. Well, you guys, this is the before. This is how my guy looked when he came in. And if you watched it up until this point, you guys see me transform him. And I really appreciate you guys for tuning in to the video. Hope you guys liked it. But YouTube, without further ado, this is the cut. Let me know what you guys think about this haircut in the comments. Make sure you guys leave a thumbs up on this video. Drop some fire emojis, man. Whatever y'all want to do, just show some love. And make sure you guys smash that subscribe button and turn that notification bell on. And also, you can follow me on Instagram at JoshXBarber. Like you guys see on the top of this video. Hope you enjoyed this video. And I hope you guys will be back for more. Peace.